effort something that people love to talk about. That's not the net. What about the oil change? Okay, okay. These get me average five grand a month, and that's being conservative because you guys love to freak out. Five grand a month when these are rented out. Conservatively. So yeah, the oil change. And the change. payments are what, like, Normally, someone would pay like 300 bucks a month for it, right? Well, this one's 600 bucks, but I don't know if I did a really short term or not. I'm still paying it. I don't know when it pays for itself. Um, so, so, what type of return nice is that? A nice one like this might be around 600 bucks a month nowadays. Okay. So, okay, five grand a month minus 600. Okay. Oil change. That's once, that's once a summer though. We don't yeah. do it. We don't so do it what else do you want? You want new tires? I've never gotten new tires. Rotate the tires. Uh, rotate them. These are eight ply. Last forever. What else you got? Come on, people. Give me some. Mm. We're still over four grand net. I guess if like a battery goes out or something. Oh but that's never happened. Do you see how many people count pennies and miss out on dollars? This one and my other ones are not financed. This is average five grand a month in my pocket. And who cares if something breaks? You just fix it and you still make a lot of money. And on that note, in four years across multiple RVs, I had to replace the AC compressor in this. AC, that was 200 bucks. What else? Well, you fixed the clog thing. I so fixed the clog toilet. I don't know what that would have cost because I fixed it myself. Yeah, Big nothing. video on that right before this one. Huh? Yeah, nothing really is. These have been pretty good. So, I'm just so sick of people trying to have comebacks and so, so sick of people counting pennies to miss out on dollars. So sick of people living how society taught them, how school taught them. So sick of people not knowing how money works.